Okay, good morning sock knitters. Um, I just have one last part um, of the heel to tell you about and I wanna tell you right now because I wanna keep going on my sock. And um, after you've done your, it's the final thing that you have to do here on the sock. Okay, so you've done your heel, you've done your turn of the heel, then we picked up along the gusset here. We picked up along there. And then we do this decrease. We do a decrease along here so that we go from being kind of fat on that turn to back to the 16 stitches on each needle. And your instructions will tell you what to do. But um, I just wanted to show you real quick because I'm almost done with the decreases already. And you can see that they make this, can you see them on, that, on the diagonal there? So we're turning, look at that. Ooh, let's see if we can turn this one, there we go. So we're continuing to make the heel so that it turns and so it's gonna fit your foot properly. All right, so this is where it's kind of nice to know what needle you're working on, one, two, three, or four, because needle one is the needle, oh boy, how do I tell you what needle one is? Needle one starts at the middle of the back of the heel and then it goes forward till you get to your ribbing. So it goes one from the heel forward, one, ribbing is two, ribbing is three, and the last one that's the other side of your heel is four, okay? And we're gonna do decreases on one and four. You know, decrease across the top of your foot, which is where the ribbing is. I like to have no ribbing underneath your foot because it'd be bumpy. All right, so you are going to on needle one, you're going to knit to the last three stitches, and then you're gonna, on the, on the last, so say there's three stitches remaining, on, before you get to the very last, you knit two together, and then you knit one. So you have three stitches, and so of those three stitches, those first two, you're gonna knit two together, and when you knit two together, you just, stick your needle in two stitches at once. Um, so you're gonna knit, knit two together, knit one, okay? And it's kind of worthless for me to try to show you. But, but what you're doing is you're, you're doing your decreases up here next to the ribbing, not down here at the heel. We're decreasing up at the top, up here, okay? So you're gonna start at the back of that heel, you're gonna go all the way when there's three left, you're gonna knit two together and then knit one. So now you have one less. Then you're gonna knit across the ribbing, knit across this three one ribbing. And then when you get to needle number four, you're going to do another kind of decrease. They have you do a different decrease on each side and the, the decrease you're gonna do on the needle number four is knit one, slip, slip, knit. So let me, let me do it just to make sure that's what we're doing. Knit, you, so a slip, slip, knit is you slip one needle, you slip another needle, and then you, well, stick your, and then you knit those two strands that you just slipped onto there. You slip, slip, slip them back onto the other side and then knit. And I'm not gonna try to explain that um, because there are books that'll show you that better. I'm sure the books that you have will show a slip, slip, knit. Um, it's just a, another method of decreasing. Knitting two together is a decrease and a slip, slip, knit is a decrease. It just, um, it just makes your, your um, decrease look like that. So it's just, 
It's just the method that they teach. Slip, slip, knit. All right, so on needle one, and, and you do that in the first three stitches. So on needle one, you will decrease in the last three stitches, and on needle four, you will do your slip, slip, knit, which is also a decrease on your first three stitches. So knit one, slip, slip, knit. Okay, um, and then you'll do that until you have 16 left on both of these back on needle one and needle four. And then you'll have 16 stitches on each of your four needles. And that's when you'll just continue until you get to the toe. So I'll continue on um, until I get to the decreases for the toe. And then you'll, you'll again use those same stitches. You'll use the knit two together and the slip slip knit. So um, I think you can find um, people who are better at showing close up with their hands on the internet. You can either find someone demonstrating those on the internet or um, you can try to um, understand it from looking at pictures in a book. But um, it's kind of pointless for me to even try to show you with my camera skills on this iMovie I thing. Okay, so after, once, you, once you're done with your last step, then you're just going to do your decreases on needle one and needle four, and then get to 16 on each one, and then you're going to go around until you're going to knit to about I, around two inches before you get to the end of your foot, and then we'll start working on that toe. All right. Um, I hope this helps. I hope you understand. Thanks. Bye.